uh, we're going to start our career with year zero. And just realize if I did, you should get that. All right. So you've been into board games ever since you were a kid. After college, you found a really special group uh, that shared your interests. And now you become best friends. This game is almost a little too real, except for the friend part. But yeah, you call yourself the secret cabal. And they are the best friends you've ever had. They call you six because it's sweet and you like to wrestling. So when it comes to telling the group you are leaving to go into law enforcement to become a hostage negotiator, well, it is not an easy thing. Whose advice should you seek before telling the rest of the group? Okay, chat. This is where you come in. We can either tell Jamie, Brian, or Chris, or Tony and Steve, right? So who do we tell? Jamie, Brian, Chris, or Tony, Steve? You can now vote. Um, again, you just type in, if you want Jamie, Brian, Brian, Chris, type in one, hit enter, or Tony, Steve, type in two. Um, and then it's fine, because like it's all blacked out with the red thing. So you have to get like one of those old school things, and then you can see like what it is. So it's really cool. We'll let it run for, we won't run that long. Don't give us any background? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That would be ridiculous. They're just a bunch of nerds. I'm a nerd. Everyone's a nerd. One one click has three people. The other click has two. That's what we got going on. All right. I think actually YouTube, you can vote if you vote for the first time. Um, you might you might actually be able to vote. All right. Um, and then YouTube, make sure to hit it like. All right. Everyone's going to. So we'll go to, which is Tony Steve. So, Tony Steve, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I'll just like read it. Uh, read the response based on who you told and then apply the effect below. Um, oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's tell Tony or Steve. Okay, I'm just going to pick Tony because he's the first one. So he goes, That's outrageous. I bet you will have to read a giant rules manual. Okay. If you have the secret cabal challenge coin, you may use it once during your career to gain four conversation points. How do I get the secret cabal coin? I want that. I don't have that. I don't think. All right. So now you head off to your new journey, smiling finally at the memories of the cabal. You won't see them for a while, but it gives you comfort, comfort knowing you are a cabalist till death. Literally. All right. So that's fine. I don't think Tony knows how real life works compared to board games. I don't think he does either. I should, I should have really gotten better friends. All right. So we now have five career one cards and we're going to do one at random. Uh, I'm going to do like the third one down. I usually do the third one down. So, uh, but yeah, Tony's, Tony's a weirdo. Tony's a weirdo. All right. One, two, three. All right, so first thing I have to do is add um, Arcane, Donna, Edward, Leah, and the Seavers into this deck, which I already did that, right? So they're all in there. We'll shuffle them in a little bit. Okay, so you are called. Chat, you have to pay attention. You are called to the scene of the fifth floor apartment. There's a young woman on the ledge who is threatening to jump. Not the sort of negotiation you expect for your first time, but a negotiation nonetheless. Reminder, if you haven't already added the other ones, make sure you do it. So... We can try to calm her and talk her off the ledge, or we can get close enough to pull her to safety. Which do we do? What do we do, chat? Calm her and talk her off the ledge. Try to pull her to safety. Now, I'm just saying, chat, you can screw this up right away and basically have everything go, go down. Be, be, be terrible. All right. First one, she's going to try to calm her. Verderon, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Good to see you in chat. But I also want to pick two. You can, you can pick whichever you want. Pick whatever you want. All right, got a couple of votes for one. We're going to call that a day. So we are voting one. 
Calm her, calm her down, try to talk her off the ledge. She has jumped and everyone's dead. Okay, so you carefully use your skills you were taught in training, speaking efficiently with as few words as possible. After a long hour, she comes down. All right, way to go, chat. So good job. So she has come down. We get a career stress of minus two, which is good because we started at two because we were a little stressed, but now we're down to one. So we have very little career stress going on, which is nice. The year ends and there have not been any hostage negotiation events. Good job, chat. I'm proud of you. Okay. Cool. That, that's it. Does that one make you do? Yeah. Oh, this was the one card that doesn't draw a campaign abductor. Wow. All right. So, uh, we did, uh, okay. Personal event, draw and resolve a personal card, including negotiation impacts. Do we have to do a personal card? Do we have it? We don't have any personal cards. We're supposed to have a personal card? I don't think so. Right. Let me double check. It's a good year, dude. It's a good year. It's a peaceful year. Career card. Oh, wait, personal nine. Shuffle the personal deck and place it into the right of the campaign. This is your personal event deck. Okay, we do. We are supposed to have that. My bad. Other. Uh, wait, no, those are stressors. Lots of stressors. All right, there's personal. All right, stressors. Where's my personal deck? All right, here we go. All right, so these are all the personal cards. And then we'll just shuffle them up and check out what we have. So you basically, with your mat, you go in order of things. So we have no stressors, so we don't have to worry about that. Career, we just did the first career card. And then campaign abductor, we skip because there's nothing to do there. Let me just shuffle these, at least lightly. And then we'll just add all the personal cards there. Flip the top one, which states, oh, we have another choice. Get ready, chat. It's been a good year. It has been a good year. You have trained hard and done your job well. The chief approaches you one day with a problem. She tells you that she needs to let go and wants your opinion on the underperformers. So take the easy way out and tell the chief that decision is above your pay grade. Give the chief your two cents. What to do? Easy way out. Give my opinion. What do we do, chat? What do we do? Oh, giant lasagna is all about giving his opinion. I like it. One for each. Need one more vote, or I'll vote. There it is. All right, Joshi says two, which is give your opinion. So, let's give our opinion. Oh no. Okay. She tells you that is between Sarah and Gordon. Sarah's nice, but not very effective. Gordon's a real prick, but does usually get the job done. So who should it be, Gordon or Sarah? Who should it be, chat? What do you all say, Gordon or Sarah? I'm not even gonna put up a poll. Just somebody, somebody shout a name out. We can have Sarah, who is nice but not effective, but Gordon, who's good at his job, but is a prick. Wait, are you picking? Are you picking Sarah to get rid of her, or to keep her? I guess I should. I should guess that we should phrase that. All right, so we keep Sarah. So we actually want to pick Gordon then. Right? Because we're we're letting, we're giving our two cents of who should let go. So we're going to keep Sarah, get rid of Gordon. So we're going to suggest Gordon. Uh, it's been a good year. She, approaches, she tells you that she needs to let someone go and wants your opinion on underperformers. Okay, cool. So we're going to get rid of Gordon. We suggest Gordon. So we gain minus one career stress. We already have that. And gain a stressor of colleagues. Our colleagues are stressing us out. Alright, where's our stressors? Where's our stressors that are colleagues? Is this it? 
Yeah, this is it. So we're gonna take one of our personal stressors. And then we get to put it face down in the stressor category. Cool. Nice but incompetent. Yeah, it's the best, right? Absolute best. All right, cool. So that's the end of the phase. We did we did a whole year of hostage negotiator already. It is going swimmingly. Um, okay, so now the first thing we have to do is actually deal with our stressors, which is our colleagues. Uh, chat, you're going to have to pay attention. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't read the bottom of this. Uh, mark your career sheet with the results of the negotiation if one occurred this year. It didn't. Then apply the effects. Uh, all right. We don't have to apply effect because nothing happened. So we didn't have one. Okay. So now we're stressed about colleagues. This is us. I think. I think we're the stressed one. Like all of our colleagues are having fun, but not us. You reconcile with your angry colleagues and actually make a few friends out of the whole ordeal. You are glad to finally put the stressful times before you. But here we go, chat. But you will still get them back one day. Or will you let bygones be bygones? What do we do? Get back at them. Let bygones be bygones. Do we see secretly plot our revenge? One is to get back at them. Two is to let bygones be bygones. Oh my god, lasagna. <laughs> it's out there for blood. Alright, give another 30 seconds. See if the giant lasagna is going to just have us go straight to getting sweet, sweet revenge. Should have actually switched these mats the other way that I think about it, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, it's one minute. Giant Lasagna says, get sweet, sweet revenge on them. So that is what we'll do. I think everyone else just agreed with you, and that's why. They just didn't want to say it. Okay, so you, sp you spend months writing down ideas. Then one day at lunch, you get absolute serious... Ab you get... One day at lunch, you set about absolutely roasting your colleagues. They all hoot and holler with laughter. You officially feel like you're a part of the team. Minus two career stress. Okay, I have no stress whatsoever, which is nice. <laughs> Proceed to this year's career event. Hey, Ziggy, how's it going? All right, so now career year two. Get ready, chat. You're probably going to have to decide something again. Giant Lasagna did a good job. Dude, I have no stress. I'm like minus stress at this point. All right. Career year two. So the closest thing you've had to a hostage negotiation is when you bought a used car. That's true. We haven't done anything yet. A beater you used to get from point A to point B. Naturally, you practically stole it with such a great price. So push the price so low it isn't even fair or pay a fair price for this car. What should we do, chat? What should we do? Go lower, pay your fair share. What should we do about this used car? One is to go lower and pay like practically nothing for this used car. Or two is we pay your fair share. What would you all like to be done? There we go. I like, I like you chat. Why, why? We have these skills, right? We have these skills. It's not our fault. The used car dealer doesn't have these skills, right? He should have went to hostage negotiation college. HNC. It's a great university. Great campus life. It's really good there. Give me another couple seconds. In case a swarm of twos come in. Got a bargain. Absolutely. Okay. Looks good to me. Gonna go lower. Always go lower. So, naturally being a negotiator, you practically stole the car. You got such a great price, but it doesn't mean you got a great car. Roll five dice. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll roll all five. Depending on the number of successes, uh, we have one, two, three, four, one, one success. That's not a great sign. One success. The car is really struggling. It is unreliable. Gain stressor car. 
Seems not great. Seems not great. Well, this, where's my hoopty? Stress your car. We'll just pick the second one down. That's fine. All right. So we keep that there because we'll deal with that another day. So now, if you did not have negotiation in year one, draw a campaign abductor. Otherwise, you would have none. Okay. Let's go. Let's shuffle this up really fast and see who our hostage negotiation is taking place against. Our top person is Arcane Masura. Let's grab their cards really fast. Is this like the intro guy? It is like the intro guy. Okay, cool. We got his cards. Escape demands. Second in command. Okay, cool. So, top person is Loki. Oh my god. If only. So, what we have to do is put him. Um, I guess. It's, oh, wait. There we go. Abductor. And then we're going to put in his demand card. So, he's got three major demands. We'll put them in. Uh, second command underneath there. Cool. I think we put in all major demands, right? Um, oh, no, no. We just pick one. Sorry. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. So, we have to pick one. One major demand. And then we have to pick one escape demand. It'd be random. This game is fun, but the career mode, it really elevates the game. Dude, the career mode makes the game so much better. It really does. How deep in the gutter is your career right now? Actually, we're doing great. This is probably the best we've ever been, to be completely honest. All right, so there's seven hostages we have to try to save. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good, good so far. We start with our conversation skill of four. So hopefully you can kind of see that down there. Uh, we got to make a terror deck. So first we take um, a golden pivotal event. That goes on the bottom and then 10 cards go on top. We have um, both expansions in there shuffle for the terror deck. So it could be any one of them. So, golden pivotal event card goes on the bottom, and I think it's 10 cards on top, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me just double check. 10, uh, sorry, 11, shuffle the gold pivotal card, take one at random, place it far beneath that. Okay, 10 at random. Okay, cool. So, then we take our 10 terror cards. So, I think a few or hot, or hostage abductors, whatever they're called, have their own terror cards, but not all of them. Alright, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten terror cards. Okay, cool. And well, I think we're all set up. Uh, we do get to start with our zero cost cards, which is pretty fun. And then it kind of plays exactly like, like Final Girl does. Um, for the most part. So, first step is the conversation phase so we're just talking man we're just talking we're trying to figure out what's going on um so the first thing we want to do is work on our threat right always be th th threading right so we're gonna play the conversation that we're gonna tell them to just keep cool man just keep cool oops that should be a zero um so we currently have two dice so we're gonna roll two all right we did get one success so that's not too bad actually that's pretty good uh so that lowers us down to a three which is nice um, I do like revealing demands early on. So let us, let's try to see what a demand is, right? Let's try to reveal a demand. Roll our two dice. A uh, double success. Let's go. So we reveal a demand and gain two conversation points. Conversation points is what's going to let us buy things in the future. You can't just automatically buy cards in hostage negotiator. It's kind of tough in that sense. Uh, you have to make conversation. So. We're going to look at the major demand, see what he wants. Okay. So spend four conversation points during any conversation to heal a hostage and get minus two on the threat thing. Um, at the beginning of each terror phase, though, a penalty for this would be a supply of weapons. A terror threat goes up by two each round. So we're kind of doing that as like a final push at the end. Uh, so we got two conversations. Let's make some small talk. That might be the last card we do. Uh, one success isn't bad. So we get two more points. We're at four conversation points. So we have three cards left. Um, 
what can we do with four? We can do some good things with four, I think. Hey, Zordek, how's it going so far? Yes, I just found your channel enjoying the content so far. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. All right, I think we're going to end our conversation there. So now we can spend our points. We have four points. Uh, we can't buy our, our free one jets, just like Final Girl, right? We can't buy them yet. So I like the... I like the just take a breath where basically we can try to, um, yeah, lower that. So I think we do that and we do conversation points. Yeah, we'll do that before we try to get some hostages, right? We'll save up some points in that. So that goes all the way back down to zero. Cool. And then we have to draw and resolve a terror card. These go away back into the pool to buy later on. Actually, something a hostage negotiator do like, hey, botch up from the Ferrari. <laughs> right? You watch that Ferrari one race or the Formula One race, right? Like, come on. Las Vegas isn't the great greatest place to do it, right? Like, totally. Okay. So we take our first tarot card, see what it is. Uh, plus one. So this goes up to four. If any unrevealed demand cards exist, they do. There is one. So this goes up by another one. So it's at five already, which is terrible. This is the hard part. <laughs> Okay. And that's it. Next, we do the conversation phase again. Right? We do the conversation phase again. So, let's uh let's let's tell them to take a breath, right? We're going to we're going to try this. Whoa, 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 slow down. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. We're going to roll our two dice and we failed, which is which is really great. Um Okay. So we get minus 2 conversation points, so we're at minus 2. And if the threat is at K, it's not. So we don't have to worry about that. All right. So telling them to take a deep breath was not the right strategy, turns out. All right. Let's let's just tell them to keep cool, man. Just keep just keep cool. Just keep cool. Things are going to be all right. I can sense you're getting anxious. Let me put you at ease. We want a peaceful resolution. Let's see if they believe us. One success. This goes down to four. Okay. That's that's not bad. Let's, let's ask them what their demands are. Right. Let's try to reveal that other demand card that is something we want to get done pretty Pretty quickly would be nice. Uh, one success, we could reveal a, de a demand or add one conversation point. I think we're going to skip the conversation point. Let's do the demand. Let's see what they got going on. Hey, Doug, how's it going? So we could spend three conversations to concede during any conversation for um, two extra dice. So this is this is going to be a thing we make at the very end, right? Spend three uh, conversation points to get two extra dice on our rolls. Probably something we'll do because at the very end they will escape at the end of the conversation, which is obviously not what we want. Um, I'm not gonna play these two cards. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait this out. So we'll buy. We have negative points, so we can't buy anything except for our free cards. This goes back up. And then these go into the buying area. Tell them just take a breath, man. Just take a breath. All right, cool. Now it's the terror phase. See what they get. So luckily, if the bottom has that bottom thing again, we don't have to worry about it because we know all their demands. We know everything they're trying to do. So now this goes up by two. This is up to six. At the end of the next conversation phase, minus one. All right. So we have to do that. That's interesting. Fit of rage. So they're gonna they're gonna chill out a little bit, which is good. Let's try to make some small talk. Right, let's let's ask them what their demands are again. Right, I feel like that's always a good strategy. What are your demands? What what's your angle, bro? What are you trying to? Okay, they were not happy about that. Okay, so I'm down to one die, which is not great. <laughs> All right, let's ask them to keep cool. See if we can get our one die back. <laughs> okay, no, we failed. So we got minus one conversation point. This this negotiation is not going so hot. Um, I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to stop this, this discussion because I feel like this is not going the way we want. All right. So I can't buy anything. So that's that. Um, oh wait, shoot. Did I just put cards there and there were two there? Let me just double check that. Yeah. I just wanted to throw away. Keep cool. I wanted to get the other cards, right? Oh no, wait. We did two cards. So we take the two bottom ones. Are you even trying to negotiate? I'm I'm trying to work up the the will to negotiate. And it's not it's not going great. All right, so we can't buy anything. That's fine. Do our next tarot card. All right, roll a die and compare the result to the current threat level. Uh oh. Okay, so let's roll a die. All right, a six. Okay, the die 
Wait, roll a die and compare it to the current threat level. All right, the die is at a K, so technically it's the same, right? Or no, it's less because it's higher. So the die was lower than the threat level. No, it was higher than the threat level, which means, I guess, right? Because it's K, so it means someone dies. I think I think we have a hostage that died. That's how I'm going to understand this card. So that's not great. But we do get back up to six automatically now because they had their fit of rage and now they're happy again for some reason. All right, so let's try, let's try to tell them to keep cool. All right, let's keep cool, man. Let's just, let's just figure this out. Let's try to get some wins here. All right, one success. Huge. Gets us back up to five. We need that. Um... I'm going to try to to have them talk and I'll listen. All right, we got two dice. Maybe we get some conversation points going here. What was that? Throw away two cards and a fail. We do need to succeed. So I'm going to throw away two cards to get two conversation points because we need to make some conversations, some small talk. Let's make some small talk. One success. One success. Which gives us two conversation. All right, so we're up to four. Hey, KW, do you save anyone yet? That's not the right question. The right question is how many people died. So far, one. So I'm not, not too bad. All right, so let's spend three to get a hostage back. Or try to get a hostage back. Let me phrase that. Um, we'll do the consider this card for the other one. And then we'll get our other free cards. Next turn is our move, right? Let's try to save some hostages. You talk, I'll listen. Where is that card? There we go. Because all we have to do... We have to save at least half the hostages. And then either shoot him or try to save everyone else. All right. Plus, two. Oh, okay, come on. All right, that's not good. This is another fit of rage. So that's not great. So we're down to one die again. All right, can we... All right, let's try to keep cool, right? Let's try to get this working. See if we can get up to a, another die. No, we failed. All right, minus one. That's not great. I'm going to, I'm just not going to do anything. <laughs> Let's grab the rest of our free cards. Throw this away. All right, their terror card. We're getting near the end of the terror deck. We're going to have to make some moves soon. Uh, okay, so plus one for each unrevealed demand card in play. Okay, and discard all what are your demand cards from your hand. What are your demand? Okay. What are your demands? Okay, I got rid of those. We don't have to do the bomb halves. That's fine. This goes back up by one, so we're back at two dice. Thank God. All right, we're getting low on time because we're running out of terror cards. And if the terror deck runs out and we can't draw any, we lose. So let's make some moves, chat. Let's make some moves. Let's try to rescue some hostages, right? Let's just try Let's just try to rescue them. See if we can get some. All right, a success. We're going to try to re-roll one die. Re-roll this failure. It was another failure. Okay. Okay. Not great. So we do save one hostage. But this still goes down to the one one card or one die pool. Which is not great. Um, so let's try to make some small talk. Roll our one die. See if we can get some small talk. Uh, success. All right. Here we go. Two conversation points. That's useful at least. All right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to have them just take a breath. And I'm going to get the other free cards and put these all away. Also describes the experience of wearing pants. <laughs> Consider this hostage escort. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry, we have two. Did we buy a two? We did, right? Just take a breath. Is that what we spent it on? That goes down. Tarot card? I think you saved that. Is it technically lower? It's weird. Because roll a die and compare it to result. So the die would have to be lower than K. Wait, roll a die and compare the result to the level. Oh. Then maybe it is. Yeah, I'm going to give myself that win. I'm going to give myself that win. 
Okay. Uh, hostage negotiators decided saving hostage was a good idea. Details are not. <laughs> Steven has it going. Consider trying this, but don't even play Final Girls as often as one. Yeah. It's not worth it unless you get like a whole campaign too. Terror card sounds like something out of Arkham Heart. It does, doesn't it? All right. So we're all good. This is at K, which is not great. All right. Let's see your tarot card. Okay, choose one of the following options. Plus two, minus one in the next phase. Flip two red terror cards and discard pile. Let's flip two red terror cards. We can't really handle anything else. All right, so we have three cards left. We gotta we gotta hustle. All right, let's just let's just try to tell them to take a breath, right? Maybe this is the way, maybe this is comeback time. All right, we failed. Okay. We failed. Minus two. And if it's at K, which it is, a hostage dies, but we do get minus one, so it's back at two dice. So at least we have that. Be like seven. Six is lower than seven in my book. I, yeah, you know what? I'll take it. I will take that right now. Obviously, I need all the help I can get. All right, we're going to tell them to keep cool, man. Just keep cool. Just keep cool. Lower two dice. One success. Let's go. Okay, back up to five. Let's try to make some small talk with them. Right, some small talk. Oh my god, double failure. All right, one and the conversation is done. Unfortunately, they did not like our small talk. All right, let's go, let's go back. Uh, let's go to zero tarot card. Uh, okay, this goes down by one. We don't have to do the bomb thing, so that's nice. Oh, no, no, that doesn't go down by one. They just kill a hostage. All right, so we need to save. Two more hostages and then shoot this person in the face that's gonna be that's gonna be our, our goal right now this guy doesn't like the yankees no not at all <laughs> feel like if the hostage dies in real life don't they just swarm the place at that point they're, they're, now that now we, we we can make some moves it's fine all right reveal a demand is useless right now let's try to get some conversation points so let's work on that all right success we get two points we're up to two Good. Let's try to keep telling them to keep cool. Try to get another point here. Uh, one success. Okay, so this goes down to four. That's also useful. And we'll ask them what their demands are. Try to get some conversation points here. Uh, shoot. So that goes plus one, unfortunately. All right, we're going to end it there. All right, so we get those two. We get to buy two cards worth. Uh, we need conversation points. Oh, wait. Let's get this one. Let's let them take a deep breath. And then we need to start getting a lot of points. We can start chucking cards to get conversation points. Um, so we might have to do that near the end. All right, because we are near the end. We may have to do this and this, but we don't have seven yet. So we'll have to figure this out. Take a random gold pivotal event tarot card from those out of play and place it face down on top of the tarot deck. Okay, we'll just take the top one. So we have two of them to deal with now. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Or if it's just a thing. All right, let's 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 make some small talk. All right, let's make some small talk. We need our conversation points. We need to make some moves here. All right, throw away two cards for a success. Let's do that so we get two conversation points. And I'm going to throw away a third card to just get one more conversation point. And then we're going to do the hostage escort and get our free cards. Big Mac with pickles, and he asks for no pickles. I think they give you a whole backstory, too. I just never read it. <laughs> all right, Terror Pivotal card. If you fail... All right, you have the count of three. One, two... If you fail to get at least one success on your next conversation card, you resolve. Any remaining hostages are killed, and the abductor escapes. Oh, my God. The next conversation card. All right, one success on the next conversation card. Okay, this is this is a pivotal moment that's happening right now. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get a hostage escort here. All right, we have to throw away two cards for a success. That's fine. That's a, that's a win in our book. So let's throw away two. This goes up by one, but we do save a hostage, and this is a success, so we don't have to worry about this anymore. So that's fine. Um, and then let's try to make some small talk. Let's just let's just try, right? 
All right, one, six, wait, what's the other one? Two success, I'm taking it. All right, so we're at three. So let's get another hostage escort and then let's uh, get our free cards as well. And the next one is the terror card. So here's here's how this works. The terror card's a little different. The goal, the last goal one. So the way that this works is uh, the pivotal event. The last card in the deck is the gold pivotal event. This climactic event will make winning the game more difficult or in occasion easier. After resolving the gold pivotal event, you have at least one conversation with the abductor. This is the last chance to save the rest of the hostages and eliminate or capture the abductor. So this is it. We resolve this and then we're done, right? Send the X-Men. Roll a die. Change the threat level to the number rolled. Okay. This could be good. This could be bad. A six. This is the one time I roll a six. <laughs> All right, so this is it. This is it, chat. We have to save some hostages. The unfortunate thing is, there's not a lot we can do here. So, we could at best save two hostages. All right, so let's try to save two hostages, right? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, that's not going to be good. We can throw away a card, save a hostage, but this goes up to one die. And then we can just make small talk, I guess. Uh, we did succeed at making small talk. So we have a two. So we could buy a card and use it right now. But the problem is I don't think that really makes a difference. Um, so we could spend the two... To try to tell them to take a breath. Wait, wait, not take a breath. What do we want? Spend the two to... I'll talk and I'll listen. Okay, another success gives us plus two. Which means theoretically... Oh, wait, we could buy the free cards again. Before I forget. Alright, so let's try to do small talk. Okay, we failed. Which means the end of the conversation. Yeah, so. Unfortunately... That means we lost. So, where is the book? Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see how it end what happens when it ends. <sighs> okay, personal event. Uh, blah, blah, blah. okay. After negotiating, do the following: remove the campaign abductor card from the game unless the abductor escaped, in which they uh, be shuffled back in. So he gets shuffled back in because he escaped. Record the campaign. Uh, it's technically a loss, right? We did lose. Um, yeah. So we did lose. Remove one hostage peach from the pool for each hostage that was killed. All right. So two were killed. So two of them are removed from the game. All right. So we've lost two. All right, so we're done there. Okay, cool. So I feel like on the first day in our job, we did okay. We saved a couple people, which is always nice. Um, we saved four. We, just, we couldn't get any points, man. All right, so this is a major demand. This is an escape demand. Terror card, terror card. All right, so he gets shuffled back in, unfortunately. So that is the end of that. So now we deal with a personal card. All right, chat, you have to help me out here. So uh, you find yourself with more and more free time as you get more efficient at your job. Are we more efficient? The chief doesn't care how long you are at your desk as long as you get stuff done. But how should you spend your newfound free time? Diving into more case and investigations? You love the work you do? Or pick up a hobby? Gambling, board games, water sports, or video games?
more work. Pick up a hobby. All right, put in chat. A bit easier, you get more points to buy cards. Yeah, yeah, they start you off with buying cards, which is easier. It's it's tough. It's tough. All right, so those that are voting too. Are we gambling? Are we board gaming? Are we doing water sports or video games? What would you like to say? Play some Marvel Champions. Perfect. All right, let's do it there. So two, and we're going to join a board game group. All right, so we now have gained the trait loyal. Because board gamers are known for being loyal. Uh, Zaham, thanks for giving out the community sub dude or giving the gifted sub dude. I appreciate that a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we are now loyal. Uh, and also thank you for subbing for your fifth month, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the support. Okay, so. Uh, unsuccessful negotiation. We lose one merit. Joke's on you. We didn't have any merit, so. All right, personal card is done. Wait, do we have a personal card list over here? All right, cool. Now we deal with our stressors in life, right? Because we got a lot of them. That's for sure. So, let's see our first stressor. Chat, you're going to have to answer a question, I'm sure. You go back to the dealer and threaten him. You want a better card and you want it now. Do we get forceful with him or do we threaten his business? Forceful with him. I appreciate you conveniently arranging your streams around my overnight shifts. That's why we go live when we do, man. All right, so what should we do, chat? Threaten him or get forceful with him or threaten his business? One is for forceful with him, two is to threaten his business. Uh, so the loyal card is a single use card. You may discard this card during any negotiation to concede one demand costing six or less for free. If the demand is X, you may assume X equals six. To negotiate. Oh, to concede one demand of six or less. Ah, interesting. All right, 50 50 split. Here's going to be my tiebreaker. Let me get my career three cards out. Need a split. Need a split. Or I will decide. Give it about 10 more seconds. There it is. I just have no idea how this game works. It's fine. You don't need to. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get forceful with him. Let's see what that leads to. Hey, a deal is a deal, man. You know what as is means, don't you? People who come back asking for their money back look like asses. He laughs at his own joke. At least until you grab him by the neck and slam his face in the hood of the car, breaking his nose. He runs away toward the trailer and calls the office, screaming, You will hear from my lawyer. All right, so we gain another card, Stressful, and we gain a stressor of, of legal issues. So we have another card, Stressor. And we also have legal stressors now. So I'll pick up that legal card. Where's our car? And we have where well, the car is still still just not great. All right, so um, we'll put these two away. We'll put the car on top, so we have to deal with that again. All right, so we'll do year three stuff. All right, and then once again, chat, you have to vote on how this goes. Do third one down. Okay, so the stress is piling up inside the visit. Decide a visit to Dr. Roslin's order. What would you like to discuss today? A career stress or a personal stress? So just FYI, chat, we have more personal stress. So may I suggest voting to personal stress? Because that is up there. Career stress, we have none. 
So, you know, let's try to figure out some personal stress we got going on here. All right, good. Y'all vote for personal. I'm stopping before people can change their mind. All right, balance is key. Key. How can you, Josh? How can you save lives if your own life is not in order? You may uh, increase your uh, career stress to decrease your personal stress. Yeah. Okay. We'll increase career stress by one to lower personal stress. So I feel like we have a lot of personal stress going on. All right, we have to dram, uh, do a campaign abductor. You may choose to take the call or let the other negotiators handle it. If you let a colleague handle it, the year ends and has not. And there have not been any hostage negotiation events, and we have to take a stressor. I think we're going to handle this ourselves, right? Because we need to prove that we can save people. A new voting system, at least for this. Not all the time, just for this. All right, so our abductor is Edward. Edward Quinn. All right, Edward. He only has one major demand, so we have to deal with that. Uh, this starts at a three. This starts at a zero. He actually technically has two, but you know, whatever. Uh, shoot. Go back. This guy stays out. All right, so that's that. Uh, we do have to get the second command out. Anytime a hostage would be killed, instead move the threat level up by that amount. If it ever hits K, hostage or Edward immediately kills all remaining hostages and escapes. If the ho all hostages are safe, he immediately surrenders. All right, so we want to save the peoples. Three, four, five. He's just having a bad day. He really is just kind of having a bad day. Here we are. Here we are. Guess us YouTubers aren't cool enough to vote. You can vote. You can type in one or two. It's just the first YouTubers are the one that counts. But you can vote for sure. All right. So we got to get a pivotal event card and then do 10 terror cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, cool. As it's ten, we get our starting cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. Start there. This starts at three. Let's go. Execute <laughs> them. All right. So let's let's try to figure out what his demands are. Right. Let's try to reveal a demand and get some conversation points going on. Might as well. Got a special box or pop-up? Yeah, but restream bot will count as a chatter. So that's how you can do it. All right, let's reveal his one demand. See what he's got going on. Spent 12 points to concede any conversation. All hostages are released and the abductor surrenders. All right, so we just want to get 12 points. That's really what this comes down to. Sit down. <laughs> let's try to do some small talking. Try to get him talking to us here. Uh, okay, double failure. Sweet. So we get one. All right. The conversation ends. I'll buy the one cost card and these go away. All right. So his turn now of his tarot card is concede during any conversation for. Oh, wait. This is, a, this is now a minor demand. Uh, take any conversation card from the available area into your hand for free. Interesting. So I might do the play the hardball one. I think. Because if we can get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. Okay. We could do this. And sees a Purdue as a rival. Yeah, right. Isn't a Bills fan? He did. He's just. He's got all sorts of issues right now, man. He's got a lot of problems. He also likes Doctor Strange. Yo, I don't even want to save this guy anymore. You know, just, just let him shoot. 
All right, one success, so we get two conversation points. We're up to two. All right, let's ask them what their demands are. See if we can get two. Um, okay, then we get plus one. So we're at three, four, five, six. Oh, we'd be at 11. Wait, wait, wait. okay, let me... Let me actually try to re-roll that die. Yeah, let me let me do this. Try to re-roll this one die, the double. See if we can get a success. Success. No, we did not. Okay, so that's fine. Um, let's let's tell them to keep cool. Keep cool, man. Just keep your cool, man. Uh, double failure. So we lose one conversation point. Okay, we'll stop there. We'll spend the two to get you talk. I'll listen, and the other ones. Right? I'm just like, what are your demands? He's like, I told you them all already. I'm like, no, 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 bro. What are your demands? <laughs> like, what do you want? I told you. Plus one on this. All right, so this is up to four. We don't have to do the bottom part, which is nice. All right, cool. All right, let's try the plus three. Let's make some small talk. Josh, you back here with your breaking news. Hush nigger decides the man belongs in trash. <laughs> all right, so a success and a failure. Not a failure, a double. So we'll just keep the one success that gives us two conversation points. Let's try let's try to talk to them and we'll listen, right? One success, we get two, so that's up to four. Five, six. Hmm. What we what could we get for six? Well, we could free the hostages, but I don't know. If that's really what we want to do. Actually, for four, we could get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. If we did the play hardball and we succeeded, that'd be nice. But I don't know if it's really gonna work out that well. Uh, let's try. It, let's tell them to keep it cool, man. Just keep it cool, man. Uh, one success. So this goes down to three. Okay. And actually, you know what? Let's go, let's ask them what all the demands are. Uh, one success, so we get plus one conversation up to five. Is there any good ones for five? We could play hardball. Let's spend four on hardball, one on consider this, and the other free cards. Who's winning? Uh, not us. Not us. That's for sure. Um, let me talk. I'll listen. We did, we're on year three. Our first year was easy. Our second year, we got some people killed. We got two people killed and we never caught the guy. He's still out, out there. Um, and what's the other thing that we have? He's still out there. Oh, and this is the third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So good first year. Oh yeah. We're also like in a small argument with a car dealership. We're not doing great there. Roll a die and add hostages to the pool as follows. All right, so uh, a one, we add three hostages. Actually, you know what? That doesn't really make a difference, to be honest, because we're just trying to save all of them. <sighs> okay, chat is winning. We can play hardball. It has the same tone as the Marvel Champions release of Golden Ball. <laughs> all right, let's play hardball. All right, we're going for this. We're going to go for this. Double success. Let's go. Okay, so a five, and we could throw away two cards so it's double success so we save a hostage and we get five conversation points that's up to five so five six seven eight nine ten all right so even if we did all that it wouldn't make a difference all right so we're at five i'll try to make some small talk and see what happens uh, we have to throw it. No, it's a failure. So we'll go up to six and then we end the conversation, which is fine. So with six points. Let's try to do a secret. A secret extraction. And get all of our free cards back. Chat is winning as always. Uh, yeah, chat really is. All right. So we spent our six. We got... Um, a six cost card. All right, terror card. Uh, plus two. That's not great. So down to five. I was hoping we could do some other things with that, but it doesn't look like it. So, all right, let's try to do a secret extraction. Here we go, chat. Big money, big money, big money. 
All right, one success. That's fine. That saves two people. That's good. Saving people is good, it turns out. All right, let's try to make some more small talk while the secret extraction is going on. Uh, one success, which gives us two conversation points. Uh, let's try to um, ask them what their demands are still, even though they already told us all their demands. Throw away two cards for a success. Um, yeah, we will do that. So we get one conversation point and then we're done. So for three conversation points, we're going to try to do a hostage escort and get these other cards. Oops. So that's the six and all the rest are free. We're doing okay, right? We're doing okay so far. All right, so this goes down. That's still at five. Let's see what our bad card is. All right. I uh, can see during for any conversation to ignore one death. All right, so we have a lot of minor demands. It's a, it's a medicine he needs. Flip a red terror card with no effect. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So what do we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven left. All right, let's try to do another hostage escort. See if we can get some hostages. All right, one success. All right, this goes up by one, which is not good, but we did save somebody, so that's good. Let's try Let's try to keep her cool, man. Let's keep her cool. One success. So this goes down to five, which is useful. We'll try to make some small talk. One success. We gain two conversation. All right, we're going to spend the two to just tell them to take a breath, man. Just take a breath. All right. And then these are twos, and this is a three. Hostage escort. Okay. So that's down. Terror card is... My God. Okay. A radio he wants. Next threat roll is for two more dice. We can just kill him. Right? So we could... What we could do... If we kill him, there will be uh hey. Dang almost two years. Hey Garrick, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you for 22 months of being sub to the channel, dude. I appreciate that. Alright, so we if we had our snipers engaged, we could then do two more rolls on a threat dice. Well, we would get that. Ugh, we're like in a weird spot. I was out with some friends earlier. Nice. How was it? That is a game I enjoy a lot. All right, let's try to keep cool. We're not gonna. We're not gonna go too crazy yet. Double failure. Okay, that's not. Or oh, actually, this was a failure. So we lose minus one shot. That's fine. All right, let's try to tell him to take a breath. Just take a breath, man. All right, double failure. Okay. <laughs> lose two more conversation points. <laughs> Let's try to make some... Actually, no, we're not even going to bother. I'm just going to hold on to everything else. The game is unsettling. <laughs> Alright, let's see what his tarot card is. Roll a die. If the result is less... Okay. So, the die is a 4. And we're at a 5. Is less than or equal to your current threat level. We kill someone. But we don't actually kill anyone. We raise our threat level up one. So now it's up to six, right? Because he doesn't kill anyone. He's not that type of person. Yeah. Very fun. We did uh, Gracchus and I think we won as a whole. We ran out of time, but my two buddies were on the scarab. So we left. They lived and I died. That's awesome. There is cool events like that that happen in that game. All right. Let's tell him to keep his cool. All right. Throw away cards for one success. We do want that. Uh, we'll throw away these two. So this gets minus one. So we're at five, which is useful. All right. Um, should I make some small small talk? One success, so we go up to two. I'm gonna throw away another card for a three. Actually, no, we'll do small talk again. All right, so a success gets us up to four. All right, so then we'll spend one on hostage escort. Consider this and keep cool. But yeah, it's a good game. It can be done solo, but it's definitely uh, good with other people for sure. All right, getting near the end of the terror stack. Draw and resolve the next red terror card. That stinks. 
Oh, it's okay. It's another demand. Concede to ignore one minus conversation. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of demands. He has a lot of demands all of a sudden. Does that absolutely blow me away? It's consumed my life for the past four days. I'll have to check it out. I love Fire Emblem. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We have six people left to save. Or we get the snipers and murder him. We do have to do that. Ugh. Okay. Should I tell him to keep his cool for a second? All right. Success minus one. Okay. I almost think... So if we murder him, the second a command comes in. And then... Replace the abductor card, and if all hostages are... Okay. Per threat level increase, but we'll never kill the last hostage. Alright, so... We can't kill a second in command. But a death per threat level increase, but he would never kill the last hostage. I don't know if we have to worry about that. So instead, we just want to get rid of as many people as possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's try to do a hostage escort again. Throw away two cards, it doesn't help. All right, let's consider, reconsider this. Reroll a die. Oh my God, it's not one of them. All right, so add one hostage to the pool and the conversation ends. Oh my God. Somehow he got another hostage. Oops. We'll get our free cards back. Throw that one away. All right. We're almost at the pivotal event. We're almost done. Another minor demand. Okay. All right. So I feel like we have a lot to work with here. And we should probably do that. So. Three, four, five. Five. Two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. Let's think about this. Can we get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? We can probably work our way up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take any conversation card from the available area into your hand for free. Right? We're gonna play hardball. Penalty for conceding is we get two on there. So that's taken care of. All right. Any threat roll is failed during this conversation. Okay, so we're going to do this penalty. Until the conversation ends, we get one extra die. So we're going to do that. And we're going to try to go for 12 conversation points. We're just going to push for it. This we could do on the very last thing. So we'll save that. All right, let's try to make some small talk. Let's roll our three dice. Uh, double success. We're up to three. Okay, cool. Let's try to make some more small talk. Uh, double success. So we're up to six. We just need six more points. Oh, we can get rid of the food thing. So after next... Conversation card is resolved. To do that, we can ignore one of those. So that's nice. Um, okay, so we're at six. So all we have to do is play hardball. And we're going to do the minor demand of next, thro next throw, we get two more dice. So we have to get two successes here. All right, so we rolled a bunch of dice. We got three successes, which means we now get... One, two, three, four, five, and we saved a hostage. Now, normally this would trigger, but we're gonna cancel that with this card, remove the associated card from the game. So hardball would be removed from the game, but it doesn't matter. Then what we're gonna do is throw away a card for what are your demands. Um, and it would just give us a 12th point. Unless we, we are supposed to, what have we rolled just out of curiosity? 
Um, no, we would have failed. So yeah, we'll throw away that to hit that, which is fine. And then we can spend the 12. Uh, all hostages are released and the abductor surrenders. Oh, okay. I think I can just throw away a card, right? That is something you can just do. Yeah, yeah, you may choose to play any conversation card from your hand face down to gain one conversation point. Okay, cool. We saved people. We saved people, chat. What are your demands? Oh my god. All right. We won. God, that feels so nice. We did it. All right, so we can get rid of all of his demands now. None of his demands matter. He's out of the game now, which is nice. To deal with his nonsense. Whew. It is nice being successful. All right, so these are all terror cards, right? Oh, except for that one. All right, pivotal moment. That goes there. That goes there. All right, cool. Managed to do job he was trained for. City's playing board games, showing up with inspiration. <laughs> or sights. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, play hardball, goes back there. All the rest are free cards, right? All right, cool. All right, we have we have succeeded with that, which is nice. Now, I don't think there's anything special when we just win, right? We just win, we win. And the game's just, like, happy that we won. Crisis. Yeah, I think we're just done. Okay, cool. Just done. All right. So that is the end of year three. So we're good there. Uh, now we have to deal with a personal card. Deal with some personal matters here. All right, Jack, get ready. Most people don't understand the hostage negotiators do many other things. When you think about it, hostage situations aren't everyday occurrences. Getting certified in other skills can benefit a negotiator greatly. So do we take a course in CPR and get certified or decide to take digital forensics course? How do we better ourselves? We better ourselves. Uh, CPR or digital forensics? What should we do, chat? Type in the chat one or two. <coughs> I'm gonna run to the bathroom while you vote.
Okay. Digital forensics. Also, novel says hi. Just FYI. All right, so we have selected digital forensics. So, uh, the ability of computers these days is fascinating. These computers with the internets is great. You find all kinds of ways to find and unlock evidence hidden in computers and other electronic devices. Uh, so plus one merit. Okay, so we're up to two, which is cool. And game reward, digital forensics. Um, okay, reward, digital forensics. Oh, wait, it's right there in the bottom. Okay. Oh, wait, there's two of them. I'll just take this one. You may look at pivotal event at the beginning of e look at the pivotal event at the beginning of each negotiation. Wow, that's stupidly strong. All right, so let's deal with our stressor. Our stressor is our car, as it has been for a while. This car is about to die. That much is clear. But for some reason, you are debating if you should press your luck and stick with it. So should we run that baby into the ground or bite the bullet and get something new? Run it into the ground, and get a new car. They should be asleep by the time you're done to relay this message. Yeah, but I can tell it's tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right, what should we do with this car? Let me know. No, I did not. Mark your career sheet as a result. Okay. Successful negotiation. We get plus one merit, minus two career stress, and we gain uh, vacation time. So we get vacation time. And uh, if your role, if your merit is three plus role for promotion. All right, I rolled uh, a four. I don't know if I get promoted or not. I forgot how that works. Roll one die. If the result is lower than your current merit level, if you is lower than your current merit level, then you get promoted. Okay, so it was higher, so we don't get promoted. Okay, so we don't get promoted yet. That's fine. All right, good call. All right, chat is 50-50 on this. Wait, chat is 50-50 on this. Oh, Zom, it said that your two hour class counted as a two. So really you did a one, which means run it into the ground. Okay, so let's run that baby into the ground. Let's see what happens. She lasts you another couple of months, but then the inevitable happens, and it had to be while you were on your way to an important briefing. Unfortunately, your only option to get up and running again is to buy another clunker. So gain stress or car, one career stress, one personal stress. So cars are still stressing us out, man. I feel like we cannot win with this car. I don't know if there's any, oh, okay. This is the last car stressor one we have to get. All right, cool. So now we are on year four. Cause that's what I do with my car. That's what I do with my cars too. Just makes the most sense. Um, okay. Immediately add Barrett, Sammy, Connor, Misha, and the Peterson twins to the deck. So we have to add Sammy, Barrett, Misha, Peterson twins, Connor to the deck. Okay, cool. So they all get shuffled in. And now it could be anybody. All right, shuffle this up, deal year four. This might be our last one for the night, is year four. And then we'll do like the rest of the stuff another night. All right, I'll do third one down. All right, here we go. 
the team brings you in for what um you what starts a serious meeting about negotiating technique but then you realize is about something else entirely everyone is comparing their results if you saved hostage if your saved hostages number outnumber your killed hostages pick this one is equal to a number all right so i've killed one no i haven't oh wait if your saved hostages outnumber your killed hostages I haven't killed any hostages, right? So we've only done two. And I saved Edward. He didn't die. The other one ran away. So we didn't kill anyone. So we have to pick this one. You are proud of your number and everyone else seems impressed, including the chief. You may roll for promotion. We rolled a six, so we didn't get a promotion. <laughs> All right, so draw two campaign abductors. You may choose which uh, abductor to face, return the other to the box. Okay. Wait, wait, what was it? Turn the other to the box. Interesting. Leah and Arcane again. Make a weird noise, so I'll make it listen to Joe Rogan and tell it to stop being such a wimp. Pull itself together by bootstraps and contribute to her economy, you lazy pile of junk. Alright, Le Leja, Leha and Arcane. Alright, so Arcane we tried to get before. But he got away from us. He did murder some people. Should we get revenge? Or should we deal with someone new? Arcane is like the starter scenario. So it might be better to start with him. Uh, C Dub, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I think we're going to go with Arcane. And we return this person to the box, right? We don't even deal with that person, which is interesting. All right, so we have to get his cards again. Uh, one escape demand and one major demand. All right, so we'll get that major demand. Shuffle our escape demands. You mean like these meeples? Yeah. Actually, where is this, guys? There he is. All right, so there we go. Starts on four. <clears throat> I have everything for this game except for the other year zero cards. Those are the only things I'm missing. Escape demand. All right, so terror event. We can look at the pivotal event at the beginning of each negotiation. Yeah, they're great, dude. Wait, you may look at the pivotal event beginning of each negotiation. Edwards looks nothing like him. Some of them are weird looking. They're a little weird. <laughs> All right, so this one is, we'll go get to flip it over. Um, if you fail at least one success test, conversation card results. That's not a great one. Okay, and do our terror cards. So we got to flip that over because of digital forensics because we learned about the computers on the internets. So obviously things are going well there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get our free cards. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's save some people, right? Maybe we just shoot them. Deal with that. All right, so first thing we got to do is keep our cool, man. Got to keep our cool. Uh, one success. So he goes down to three now. Uh, let's keep our cool some more. Let's just let's just keep keep keeping our cool. Uh, throw away two cards for a success. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So this goes down to two. And then we're going to try to reveal our demand, see what we got going on here. Um, okay, so we'll fail that, which means this goes up by one, which is terrible. And we'll hold on to our last card, unfortunately. All right, nothing good happens there. That's fine. All right, can't spend anything. Get a tarot card. Um, for each unrevealed demand card in play, plus one. Oh my god, one, two. So it's back up to five. Discard all what are your demand cards. That's gone. Uh, reveal a demand if any unrevealed demand cards. Okay, so that's nice at least. So let's see what his major demand is. Spend four dollars to. Oh, we didn't get the hostages. Duh. 
He's not even holding anyone hostage. What a an idiot. Try six, seven. Always roll one, at least one die. Okay, cool. All right, so now it's our turn. Um, he's at five. We have no free cards. We can't do anything. So we'll just get our free cards. Call it a day. All right, so his terror cards. How many hostages have died? Uh, two. I think two we've killed so far. Or two have died. We're doing actually pretty good. Plus two. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're down to one die. All right, so we can roll one. Uh, let's try to keep her cool with this one. See if this doesn't fail. Also, welcome, Kenny. Hopefully doing well. Minus one talking point. Okay, that's not good. Let's try Let's try to keep her cool again. All right, we did get a success. Thank God. So this, we can roll two dice. And we're going to try to figure out his demands. Uh, reveal a demand or get one talking point. We're going to reveal the other demand. Spend four, do or four points to uh, get two dice for the conversation. He wants a helicopter. Interesting. I'm not getting you a helicopter, dude. All right, so let's do some small talking. Oh my God, double failure. So that's equal and we get nothing. Okay, this all goes away. I just there with a the hostage taker and a hostage negotiator argue back and forth when there are no hostages, right? It's like arguing about football teams or something. Make a threat roll. Oh, this is not going to be great. Yep, they died. All right, one dead. One dead. All right, let us find out what their demands are. One success, we get one talking point. Let's do some small talking then. I hate double success, we're up to four, okay. All right, so with our four points, let's spend all four on little compromises. All right, I think this could be good. And then we'll get these cards as well. My second last one. So I'm hoping with little compromises, it's gonna be a big card for us, I hope. We can do this, this loyal one, to get the wire of $10 million at the very end. So that's good to know. Shouldn't you have rolled two dice? Oh, maybe. What would the other one be? It was also a failure. <laughs> I was thinking the threat roll would only be uh, for one. I don't know why. But that was a good point. But we got a double failure. So, all right. Um, do wait. Did we? I got confused. Did we do his turn yet or no? I tried. Okay. No, we have to do his tarot card still. Okay. All right. So his tarot card is... Okay. All right. So we have to do it again. Maybe we save someone this time. Maybe we don't. Okay. <laughs> just cool. Just, just keep murdering them. All right. Let's try some little compromises and see if we can get them to stop killing everyone. All right. One success and a failure. So one success is one talking thing. This goes down by one and we save one person. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, let's try to keep her cool. Double success. Okay. This goes down by one. We gain. Okay. We're making some progress. I feel like, you know, let's just keep her cool again. Right. All right. One success. All right. It's down to a three. This is good chat. I don't know what's going on. Let's make some small talk. Maybe this guy likes us now. Maybe we're best friends. Okay. No, we're not. Um, okay. So he's up to three ends the conversation, which is fine. So with a three, um, let's try a hostage escort and get two other cards. And these go back into little compromises. I definitely want again, if we can get it. Okay. All right. His card, we're gonna do his terror card. Plus one, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that can sit there. All right, we got two cards. Um. Let's try to do a hostage escort again. Oops. Success. Oh, double success. Let's go. Let's go. All right. There's only two left, which means 
we just need to spend four conversation points to do this. Um, so let's try to make some small talk really fast. Oh my god, double failure. Okay, that's fine. We get one conversation end. With the one point, we will consider this and then do the rest of this. What we can do most likely is just use single use um, thing in a second. But I want to try to save it if we can. All right, he's still got a lot of tarot cards left, so. If we save them all and then we make another save, we can, okay. We can try to get him out, right? So basically if we do this and save him and then try to do another save, we could win. Uh, it's probably so like you can't chump block. Yeah, it is about to ruin this man's whole career. <laughs> hey, true. How's it going, man? Uh, yeah. Project Y rate can be really, 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 really rough for sure. All right. So if we make small talk, all right, let's try to make some small talk. Let's see what happens when we do that. Oh my God. Double failure. Okay. We get one and take this take this this goes away all right next tarot card roll a die and add hostages son of a gun a one we had three hostages he's just finding hostages okay that there was a lot of wrinkles in our plan so that stinks all right let's try to keep her cool we got one success, so this goes down to a four. Let's try to make some small talk. Uh, throw away two cards for a success. We will do that, so we get plus two. Let's try to keep her cool. Uh, success slows us down by one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we got two conversation points. Let's throw away one card so we get three conversation points. We'll spend all three on a hostage escort and get small talk as well. All right, all, zeros. all right, we're getting near the end of terror cards. Unfortunately, we got to save five people. Not ideal, but you know. Concede, uh, take any conversation card available from the area into your hand for free. Okay, we might do that. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so. He wants beer. I almost think we give him the beer. We get secret extraction. All right, so here's the thought. We get secret extraction. And we get, we do this card as well, but we have to get the points though. All right, well, let's try to make some small talk. Let's see what that gets us first. Okay. Let's try to reroll one of our dice. Okay, failure. That's just useless. All right, let's get all these cards back. Beer is not an unreasonable demand. I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> All right. So there was our one conversation point to get the, uh, consider this terror card. We're getting near the end, unfortunately. All right. Choose one of the options. Uh, we'll do the plus two. Get this up a little bit. That's fine. All right. Let's try to make a hostage, hostage escort. One success, so we saved a person, and this goes up to six, unfortunately. Uh, that's something to keep us cool. He's probably losing his mind in there right now. A success and a double. We can just do... Actually, we will get both. So we get one point as well. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. We'll just take the one success. Then we'll do what are your demands. Throw away two cards. Um... Yeah, we will do that to get one conversation point so we don't have a failure. Um, all right, let's try to keep her cool again. One success brings us down to four. 
All right, we'll hold on to this last card. We have one conversation point. We'll do a consider this and get the other free card. Compared to a helicopter. <laughs> All right, hostage escort. Okay, so there's four hostages left. If there are two or fewer hostages in the pool. All right, so we want the sniper one. So what we can do, here's my theory. Well, actually, hold on. Let's see your last terror card before we get to the last one. Uh, okay, someone dies. Okay, that actually kind of helps us. <laughs> so, we can... All right, that one is going to be rough. All right, so if we take any conversation card, we could take the sniper card. All right, so let's see if we can make small talk, right? Let's see if we can get the three points to get. Oh, no, wait, we need to do this first. Shoot. Oh, my God, we failed. <sighs> all right, so let's get all of these. Get our one. Okay, that's the end. So now, terror event. If you fail to get at least one success on the next conversation card you resolve, any remaining hostages are killed. Okay. So this is the end, right? This is the very end. We can use things to buy things. Um, so let's make some small talk because we need some points right away to make some moves. So, okay. Double failure, which we will do a consider this to re-roll a die. Which is another double failure, which we will consider this, reconsider this. Oh my god, we failed four rolls in a row. So that's it. They all die. Oh my god. It's so painful. There was nothing we could have done. Hold on. Was there a better way of doing this? Oh, wait, wait, You may discard a card, any negotiating cards. That can... So we could have conceded this to get two extra. Oh, wait, we should do that. All right, if this is our last game of the night, I might rewind this and try again. So I don't know if we can actually do it or not. Should I give him that helicopter? Well, I forgot with loyal, we could have used it. Yeah, but the problem with dumping for the points is that we need points. Or, hold on. Let me think about this. Let's rewind. Let's just redo it, right? Because I, I don't care. Um, so I can't fail my next roll. I could use Loyal to... Yeah, I could do Beer and take any card in my hand for free. Okay, wait, wait. Let's let's redo this. Let's let's be smarter about this for a second. So, Meyer demand. Take any conversation card from the table into your hand for free. Let's do extended conversation. Then we get two onto here, right? So that's done. Um, then we could do loyal. You may discard this card during any negotiation to see one demand costing six or less. If that costs, okay. So we throw away loyal. To do this, he's going to escape at the end. But until the end of the conversation, we get plus two dice. Then. We do extended conversation, right? And roll four dice. All right, we got one success. Which means until conversation ends, we get one extra die. And all um, of these are also successes. So we have five dice now. And that was a success, so we don't have to worry about that. Now. We want to make small talk. 
All right, so we have one success, which gives us a two. Oh, wait, we can buy another small talk. So let's get another small talk. Uh, which is another success, success, which brings up to four. Then we can use four to save two people on this. And we roll one fewer die. Right? So we're down by one. So we have four dice left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, wait, wait. So then we can do one, two, three. One, two, three. We need to get more. Okay, let's find out what their demands are. And roll four dice. Double success gives us two. So we're up to six. Then we can throw away one. To get all snipers engaged. And then we can, if there are two or fewer hostages in the pool. All, okay. So we want all snipers engaged. So we're going to roll four dice for that. We need a double success. Which we got. So if there are two or fewer hostages in the pool, all abductors eliminated and all hostages saved. There. That's how we should have done it. Holy cow. Okay. That was much better thinking it through and whatnot instead of just kind of rushing it. So he's dead. We shot him in the face. Um, okay, so oh you're talking about the leadership mate. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I would love this more than Final Girl. I also like that you don't have to deal with moving around a map. It's nice. It's just, it's hard. I wish you could use the dice from Final Girl because it's one, two, or three of failure instead of one, two, or failure, three, four, or the uh, two ones and then successes. That's what makes it so hard. Okay, so that's the end of him. I'm taking that win. You can't take it from me. He dead. Put all the tarot cards back. I like this theme better than the final girl. Yeah. Hey, Victoria. I'm just on T-Snow's iPad. Ah, okay. <laughs> How's it going, man? All right. So success is good. Now we deal with our personal problems. So you all get to vote. I think maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get to vote. You are getting a little burnt out and tell your chief you need a vacation. The chief raises an eyebrow. Make a career stress check. If you pass the check, the chief grants you time off. If you fail the check, the chief denies your request. How do we make a stress check? You need someone to fail. <laughs> All right, so stress check. Merit level. All right, stress check. Uh, if it's higher than your stress level. Okay, so we have to roll one die if it's higher than your stress level, which is a four. I think that's good, right? You succeed the check. Yeah, so our stress level is a two, so we succeeded. All right, chat. So do we splurge and go to Hawaii or stay within your me your means and go to a mountain resort? I don't like working hard. I want as much time off as possible. All right, so... What do we do? Splurge, spend within our means. All right, chat, vote. Need to install Twitch on this thing? Yes, you do. For sure do. Let's definitely spend more money on it. That's like the board game motto, so. Oh wait, there was three dead people. So there's five dead people in total.
All right. We defeated our nemesis. It really was our nemesis. For sure. For sure. All right. Anyone else? A lot of people are saying one. YouTube, you can still vote. You're allowed. All right. Let us splurge. So, we are now at Hawaii. You fly to the... All right. You fly to the beach paradise and spend a week uh, thinking nothing of the stress of your job. Luau's and beach excursions fill your timeline. You come back from a trip well re refreshed and rejuvenated. Minus three personal stress. But we do have debt now. We did. Uh, we did. We did. We did get some debt. Where's our debt card? Oh, wait. No, it's a different card, right? Oh, no. Stressor. Debt. There we go. Grab a deck card, and that will go. They go on top, right? I would draw one at random and resolve it. I'm supposed to draw one at random. I messed up on that, but that's all right. All right, cool. So we have a debt issue, we have a car issue, and we have some legal issues. So we got a lot going on for us. All right, so successful. Um, thing we did so we get two merits we're up to five and minus one career stress so we are not stressed we are definitely going to get promoted soon hopefully and that is the end of our personal card all right 